Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new tutorial and today we're on to Blender 2.8 again and this time we're going to tell you guys how to make grass wiggle or either like um you can also move the water and like kilps and all kind of stuff also leaves as well um lava flowers or like um either flames everything you want um so just so you guys know i'm like in a very weird world right now i'm not in minecraft like normal minecraft blender videos um i guess uh so like this is kind of different because if you follow all the steps before like you make the sunshine you make the mist you make like mc prout like mine wish bye bye you're all gone you need to start this all over again if you want to do like the uh kind of moving stuff again um i don't know my voice is horrible like when you kind of i mean blender is horrible if you kind of like use this for too much you will discover many horrible things that blender made you do um anyway it's it's really bad um there's one reason of doing it because originally when we did like uh, minecraft uh like blender let's say the whole island is a whole group and that's not what we wanted also i will just like explain that in the further of the video um by the way if you guys don't know i'm making a like kind of a animation called raid in blender and i'm still working on it uh also if you guys still like uh wanted to send me your skin but if you didn't do that be sure to do it right now because this might be your one of your last chances um if you guys don't do i have all, all kind of ideas i can find them online i can like do it uh, anyway um but like anyway let's just go start this video um first click on file we need to import uh the obj but this time when you um click on template template don't just like spam it right here click on geometry um click um uh take off this like um split by object and select split by group so then if you kind of open ocean monument dot obj um things will get better and uh, for the wiggles and stuff because that literally makes things more like um easier to select i don't know why i didn't do that in the very first but um i don't know it's kind of weird how i kind of just like the whole island is a group uh that's really bad um i'll just like you guys will see later what i'm talking about while this is loading um okay now it's done so like oh, let me just get mc prep right now mc prep where are you okay prep materials okay so like that um we're done with the materials and just so you guys know uh one thing that changed is if i click on the leaves it will not select the whole island it will only move the all the leaves which is like really useful based on how you want like things to kind of uh, move around like in a pattern or something what i talk like i guess that's what it is um also you can select the ocean for example you want the water like everything's like not like in water everything drained out you just kind of like pull it down and just, there's no more water okay um and everybody's going to uh, be thirsty because there's no more water i guess anyway um let's just start this uh first of all you want to select everything that you want to move around first i definitely want the leaves to move around and then the grass the flowers also by the by the way flowers are not the same group for example if we move this around um the poppies are not selected so we need to select all of them um just like that and the crops as well all right um so these stand lines are selected uh, let me search if there's hey this is actually pretty fun yeah also maybe the um, bee nests because you're kind of like oh i mean moving whistle wind you know um like by the way let's control j in case if we lost everything oh by the way this is not good if you have mist on or like you can just move the mist all away and i kind of put it back if you want to also the sugar canes like these things control j wait 
what? Select it. No. Yeah, it is. Uh, what am I doing? Okay. Um. Like that. So um, also we want the kilps to move. So um, not only the kilps, like we also want seagrass, like shorter and longer ones to also move around with us. Um, just like that, we have selected everything that we want to move around. Maybe even water if you guys want to, but for now it's fine and you're ready. Um, like if you have to miss uh, again, you kind of just drag it maybe down or up or maybe left or right in case you don't like select the mist and everything will be super bad. Um, we don't want that to happen. Um, for now I don't have any mist, so I don't have to worry about that right now. Um, anyway. Once we selected everything, we want to go to modifier um, and then add modifier this place. So once you hit this place, um, like everything will start to look really like weird and round and stuff. This is more realistic in real life because these like, things are just like this. I have no idea, but why is this so weird? <laughs> They're like all like bunched up, but we don't want that to happen at all. Um, the default ones should be just like the default ones, uh, but if the wind moves them, it's kind of like slight bit of this, but uh, just look more atmospheric as well, just like I said. And so like that, we click on new and click this to see the preview. Um, for now, everything is not like, um, this is super black and we want this in case, um, instead of image or movie, we change it to clouds. Um, by the way, let me check if my OBS is still on. Yep, okay. I thought it wasn't, and I was like super nervous. Let me double check, right? This is so scary, by the way. If it's just like not on, I'm doomed. Um, so like that, if you move the size around, it will just move around. So that is what we want it to be. Um, so like we want to move the size, and then like, we're seeing kind of move around. Uh, that's what we want to be messing around at. You don't want to click on any colors and stuff because I might mess up everything. So this is just fine. Um, colors are just like moving at like big or small, but I think this is just for me. This is pretty good. Um, right now we kind of want a uh, uh, empty like this plain axis because plain axes are not like super like big and stuff. You guys can all see kind of easier and thinner. What I say. Um, this is not like super bad, but um, for now you see the plane axis isn't really working anywhere. Um, but if we kind of uh, select on every um like these things and close everything, uh, you will kind of notice, I guess. Um, I guess, yeah. Um, if we just kind of go in there again, uh, it says texture coordinates local and um, we want to change that to object so now if we kind of select um empty plane axis it will move around with when the axis moves so like that the um grass and everything will move around nicely and that is what we want it to be like even the um cubes under here is like moving around like cool um so just like that everything moves and it look fantastic based on like if you think it's not been fantastic turn it a little bit down or a little bit more if you want to like make a super like fantastic wind but for now I'll just leave it like this um and like, everything kind of move around nicely um, with the wind which is really nice like I believe um, there's also other ways of doing it but this is my way and I think this is one of the best ways of doing it um also, I think, um, I kind of want to find the beehive because, because, like, this is actually really cool. Oh, let's just name this A, like, uh, the reason I name it A because it will be in the front of, like, the, all everything. Um, let's just name this A, um, a wind, A wind, okay. Um, so, like, the reason I want it to be A because, um, if it's A, uh, I guess, I mean, maybe a, um, a, a wind. Yeah, because if it's not a, a wind, you would just, like, kind of scroll down for so much and you don't see anything. 
if you like kind of move it like AA stuff, you will be like really in front, and you wouldn't. You can just like kind of move it like wh wherever you want. You can like um, hide it or anything. Um, so that's it. Um, I guess uh, now it's not like completely finished because you can just like move it around in an animation. This is probably the most easy part. Um, so like first you want this to be like in here like also um if you don't know what keyframes are it's kind of like um in this like for example in uh this slot what uh do you want it to be in like 250 uh what you want to want it to be um so like this also if we, you um i is for like um god i feel really bad uh anyway i um to like make a i guess a keyframe uh that's not really like that useful like if you just kind of click on I and like everything and basically the best is definitely log rot scale uh, which is location rotation scale I use it all like every time I didn't even use any of them like other like probably log rot scale is most important so um, and also you don't want to like click I and like select it every time so click on keying um, active keying set which is turn into log rot scale so then you don't have to change anything. When you press I, it will automatically keyframe and um, things will be good. So now if we move it like over here, I guess. Yeah, like there. Um, and move it, no, we need to do it again. Um, you can also do this with fires and stuff if you want to, but for now it's just fine. And um, kind of move the keyframe. And for now we kind of automate, automatic, um, made it automatic, like, and, like, cool. So, like, if we, um, make the animation start, like, everything will just, like, kind of move without even, like, moving the, the AA wind sink. Um, so, like, that. This is perfect. Let me see where the beehive is, because this is really cool, if you have it, because, um, let me see. Why isn't there a beehive? Did I literally delete it anyway um so now uh we have like everything moving uh nicely through the wind um so I guess that is also the end of the video um if you guys have enjoyed be sure to like um also subscribe if you want to um with this beautiful ocean monument and these beautiful kilps moving around in the ocean um Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.